Hi all, today we are going to learn how to get MySQL data in Excel using Power Query. To get this data into Excel, we need .NET connector get installed in your system. So let me show you how you can download the .NET connector. Here is the link, but on the Google, you can simply type .NET connector mysql okay and on the first link in the mysql official site you will able to see the links to download the connector so download this connector installed it okay let me close browser let's go in a excel in excel you have to go in a data tab there you will find get data here you have to select get data from database and in the database you have to select mysql database okay now here you have to put the server name right now i have a server that local host with the port number 3309 okay i have separated the server name and the port number using colon sign any database name which exists in the database employees i have this database dummy database click on ok now here you don't want it to go with windows we will go with the database authentication here you have to put it username i have a user with username as a user underscore ro and the password okay now let's click on connect I am able to see my all tables here. Okay. Few tables are with very huge data. Whenever you are connecting with any table, you have to extract the data into pivoted form. Else you will not analyze that how much data size is this. So sometimes table rows are exceeding more than 10 lakh. If you are going to extract the data into table, then Excel is not having the capacity more than 10 lakh line items. So whenever you are extracting the data, we will select into pivot table so let's have this employees okay this data is very huge so i am going to click it on load to and here you will select pivot report you can select the table also but i'll recommend select the pivot report which will show you which will give you the ability to uh, see uh, the summarize view okay and click on okay now uh, let's have um, the employee count uh, by their gender so first i will add this gender into row field and uh, the employee number into the value field and here instead of sum we are going to have the counts of employee number okay so now here it is showing me the data let's fire the query into database and let's see our data is matching with To match this data, we will use group by query. First, we will use use employees. Let me increase the font size. Okay. And the query will be select gender comma count of EMPNO from employees group by gender. same result you are getting into the this one so here you don't want it to use any any programming e this is an easiest way to get data into your excel this is always in the read only mode thank you everyone please subscribe the channel if you like the video